Hello everyone. I hope you all are fine. During this COVID-19 pandemic situation, please stay home and take care. In this lecture, we are going to take some new MCQs important for the Savitabai Phule Pune University Pune online examination 2021 for TYBSC Physical Chemistry on the topic Investigation of the Molecular Structure. So first of all, I welcome you all in this lecture. Before starting this lecture, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for getting the new videos and also your comments are most welcome for the further implement. So let's start the today's MCQs with explanation. So this is the first question of today's questionnaire. The question first is here. For a diatomic molecule, when vibrational quantum number V is equal to zero, the allowed vibrational energy is called as and the options are option A is activation energy, option B is potential energy, option C is kinetic energy and the option D is zero point energy and the correct option among these four is nothing but it is called as the option T it is called as the zero point energy. Now let's look towards the second question. And the second question is here. In vibration rotation spectrum of a diatomic molecule, the lines observed at lower side of fundamental vibrational frequency, that is omega bar, for different values of J dash is called as. And the options are A, P branch, option B, M branch, option C, R branch, and option D is H branch and the correct answer of this question number second is option A that is it is called as P branch. This is the question number second. Now let's look towards the next question. There is a question number three and the question number three is here. In vibration rotation spectrum of a diatomic molecule, the lines observed at higher side of fundamental vibrational frequency omega bar for different values of J double dash is called as and the options are option A is R branch, option B is H branch, option C is P branch and the option D is M branch. So in this question, this omega bar is a fundamental vibration frequency. J double dash is nothing but the different rotational quantum numbers. So whenever this type of the lines are observed at the higher side of fundamental vibrational frequency then that lines are called as and the correct option among these four is nothing but the option number a that is these lines are called as the r branch this is the question number three now let's look towards the next question question number four and the question number four is here in raman spectroscopy when the substance is irradiated with monochromatic light the phenomena of light is observed, which interaction is observed and the options are A option is refraction, B option is reflection, C option is scattering and the fourth option that is the D option is the absorption. So in the Raman spectroscopy what happens normally in a each and every spectroscopy commonly the absorption of the light can be takes place but this is a one exceptional in this Raman spectroscopy whenever the substance is irradiated with a monochromatic light, the new phenomena can be takes place. So the correct op option or the correct answer for this question is nothing but the option number C that is the scattering is observed whenever the substance is irradiated with monochromatic light. Now next look towards the next question, question number 5 and the question number 5 is here. In Raman spectroscopy, the scattering of light without change in the frequency of scattered and incident light 
is known as and the options are option a is newton scattering op option b is relay scattering option c is abbe's scattering and d is none of these so what happens in the raman spectroscopy whenever we can compare the frequency of incident to that of the scattered light then what happens if there is no any change in the frequency of scattered and incident light can be observed then that type of the phenomena has one special name and the correct answer for this question is nothing but the question 5 has the correct answer that is the option number b that is it is called as the relay scattering next look towards the next question question number 6 and the question number 6 is here in raman spectrum the scattered lines whose wavelength are greater or frequency is lower than that of the incident wavelength are called as and the options are a is stokes lines b is anti stokes lines c is relay lines and option d is newton lines and the correct options among these four is nothing but the option a that is these lines are called as the stokes lines this is the correct answer for this question number 6 now let's look towards the next question question number 7 and the question number 7 is here the intensity of stokes lines is always then that of the anti stokes lines and the options are a is lower b is equal c is double and d is higher and we know very well that this intensity of stokes lines what happens in the stokes lines these stokes lines are always have the more intensity than that of the anti stokes lines so the correct option among these four is nothing but the option number d that is it has the higher <coughs> intensity than that of the anti stokes lines next look towards the next question question number 8 and question number 8 is here the selection rule for rotational raman spectrum is and the options are delta j is equal to plus minus 1 option b is delta j equal to plus minus 2 option c delta v equal to plus minus 1 and option d delta v equal to plus minus 2 and the correct option for this question number 8 is option number b that is the selection rule for rotation of raman spectrum is delta j equal to plus minus 2 now next look towards the next question question number 9 and the question number 9 is here the homonuclear diatomic molecules like h2 n2 o2 are active and the options are a is microwave active b is infrared active option c is raman active and the option d is both raman and infrared active and the correct option is option number c that is these molecules are raman active the homonuclear diatomic molecules are always called as the raman active the next question is question number 10 and the question number 10 is here anti stokes lines in the raman spectra is observed when option a is mu i is equal to mu s that is the frequency of incident light is equal to frequency of scattered light option b is frequency of incident light is greater than that of the frequency of scattered light option c is frequency of incident light is less than that of the frequency of scattered light and the option d is delta v is equal to frequency of incident light minus frequency of scattered light is positive and the correct option among these four option is option c that is the frequency of incident light must be less than that of the frequency of the scattered light that is nothing but the anti stokes lines obtained in a raman spectrum now next next question is question number 11 and the question number 11 is here in nmr spectroscopy which electromagnetic radiations are used and the options are a option is radio wave b option is infrared C option is ultraviolet and the D option is a X ray. Now among these four options, the correct answer is nothing but the option number A. That is, in NMR spectroscopy, radio waves are used. So this is a question number eleven. So up to this, we solve here eleven type of the different questions along with their options along with the supportive justification. so these questions are based upon the different concepts in from the chapter investigation of the molecular structure so with this i stop here
in a upcoming lecture we will take some new multiple choice questions on a new topic so with this i stop here thank you thank you so much